Nobody wants to leave. Let's go to PA announcer Eddie Palladino. Fans now at center court for the presentation of the Larry O'Brien Trophy and the 2024 Bill Russell NBA Finals Most Valuable Player. Please welcome ABC's Lisa Salters. Thank you. Joined by Boston Celtics owner Wick, Wick Grosbeck, our managing partner Steve Paliuka and Bob Epstein, head coach Joe Mazzula and president of basketball operations Brad Stevens, and here to present the Larry O'Brien Trophy to the Boston Celtics, NBA Commissioner Adam Silver. Thank you, Lisa. To the Boston Celtics, congratulations, an NBA record, 18 championships. To Wick, Steve, Bob, where's Brad? Congratulations on assembling an incredible team. Coach Missoula, where are you? You did it, unbelievable. And to the fans, thank you very much. Without you, we wouldn't be here. And now it's my honor to present to the Boston Celtics the 2024 Larry O'Brien Trophy for the NBA Championship. expectations for this team were so high all season long just how were they able to every time rise to meet the moment Michelle the, the brilliance of Joe Missoula is that he wouldn't let expectations get in the way Joe Missoula said there's no expectations you've got to win or die trying Joe set a plan and he kept everybody focused and these guys played team basketball, great Celtics basketball. It wasn't about expectations, it was about getting it done. Banner 18. You've been close for the last few years, but decided this offseason to make some, some major changes. How did you and Brad Stevens know that staying the course just wasn't going to be good enough? Well, we all watched the team the last few years, a great, great teams, but not, not quite there. And Brad was brilliant. We knew we needed to make changes. We knew we wanted to make changes, and Brad got it done. He brought in Drew, he brought in KP, and here we are, Banner 18 is back. Congratulations, Wick. Let's talk to your head coach. What makes this group so special? Uh, first of all, obviously, uh, for us, for me, our faith is the most important thing. Number one, we got the best fans in the world. The best fans. There's nothing better than representing the Celtics and being part of history and taking on the ownership and the responsibility. And we're nothing without these guys right here. Uh, these are the most important people, the players, their families, and everything that they do, and we're nothing without them. Again, the expectations were high all season long, but how did you help them understand that embracing those expectations could be a strength and not a weight? I mean, you, you get very few chances in life to be great, and you get very few chances in life to carry on uh, the ownership and the responsibility of what these banners are and all the great people, all the great players that came here. And when you have a few chances in life, you just got to take the bull by the horns and you got to just own it, and our guys owned it. Thank you, Joe. Congratulations to you. And now the presentation of the 2024 Bill Russell NBA Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Again, Commissioner Silver. Bill Russell would be so proud. The 2024 Bill Russell Finals MVP goes to Jalen Brown.
Yeah, you earned that. What does holding this trophy mean to you? It was a full team effort, and I shared this with my brothers and my, my partner in crime, Jason Tatum. He was with me the whole way. You said that what's been different about your game this season is that you let go of all of the anxieties, all the doubts. First of all, you're a superstar, so no one knew you had any anxieties or doubts. But how were you able to do that to unlock your game, as you put it? Um, just my faith in the most high, um, just believing in my teammates, my coaching staff, and just being grateful. I've been grateful for every moment, every opportunity. I never hug my head. I don't give a we play basketball. Excuse my language. I'm sorry. Thank you, Jalen. Congratulations. Jason, where are you? Jason, you and Jalen have played in. You and Jalen have played in 107 playoff games together. 107 playoff games you played with Jalen. Just that's the most for any duo before winning a title. What's it mean to you now to finally get it done and to get it done together? It means the world. Uh, <laughs> it means the world. Uh, first and foremost, God is the greatest for putting us in this position uh, to, for us to be surrounded by each other, for us to put us in positions to maximize our ability. Uh, it's been a it's been a long time coming, and damn, it was worth it. The pressure, the expectations, the comparisons, the constant comparisons, it never divided you. You said it only made you closer. How? Because uh, we know we need each other. We all need each other. Uh, this is a team sport. Uh, and we went through the ups and downs. Uh, and, you know, we deserve this. We earned this for sure. All right, where are the rest of the Celtics? Come on up here, you guys. You guys have have stood on team all season long. Unbreakable bond, so I'm just gonna throw out questions. Come on up, get up here close to me. I'm just gonna throw out questions. Whoever wants to answer, answer. Except the first question has to be to you, Al. To, God be to you, Al. What has the wait been like? <sighs> it's been long, uh, a lot of hard work, but I'm so proud to be part of this team and that it happened now. La Gloria Dios, Gloria Dios. You dreamt of this for so long, and now you finally are a champion. Can you describe to me what's going through your head right now? I can't believe it. I still can't believe it, friend. I mean, we did it. We're here, but uh, I can't believe it. This is just how I pictured it here at the Garden with our fans, everybody together. This is just how I saw it eight years ago. This is how I saw it eight years ago. Wick knows about it. Wick knows about the ring eight years ago. Yes, sir. Congratulations to y'all. All right, guys. Who wants to be next? Remember, I'm just going to throw out questions. Whoever wants to answer, answer. KB. To, to play tonight, Chris Epps. How were you even able to play tonight with that bad end? Good question. I don't know. The medical staff there did everything they could, and I gave my all, and I was able to get out there. And why were you not? You said you were gonna, you were gonna die out here if you had to. Why were you not gonna miss this game? Say that again, please. Why were you not going to miss this game? How could I? On home floor. We're the champions. Let's go. Congratulations. Drew. Where's Drew?
Drew, you were brought here for this reason, to be up on the stage. Why were you such a perfect fit for this team? Uh, I think it's every player on this team. Uh, not just the players, not, not, not just the coaching staff on the top of the organization. Um, they really embraced me when I first got here, and, and they made this game super easy. But the fans here are insane, man. I, I didn't expect it to be like this. They're, I, I, I love you guys. What are you most proud of about this group? I think that we did it together, and I feel like every I, th I feel like the world saw that. Uh, we did it as a team. Um, no individual player. Everybody locked arms, and we got the job done. Congratulations, Drew. Derek White. Where are you, Derek? Smile for us. Let's see that pretty smile. Man, this is this is what we work for. I mean, I'll lose all my teeth for a championship, and so uh, I'll, I'll get it fixed, and I'm going to enjoy this one. Derek, this team has been about sacrifice all season long. Just how were you guys able to come out here, no agendas, join together, listen to all the noise, and get this done? And we got an un unreal group of guys uh, in this locker room, on the court, off the court. We just... Uh, just get along so well and uh, the coaching staff has always been just pushing us and driving us to, to get better and I mean this is this is what it's all about. What are you going to remember most about this journey? Just the whole process. Um, we didn't skip any steps from the beginning to the end and uh, just the locker room and everything. Uh, this is special. Congratulations to you Derek. Congratulations to all of you. To finals MVP, Jalen Brown, and to the 2024 NBA champion, Boston Celtics. Lisa, complete and utter joy. It, it just, it has to be overwhelming. And JJ and Doris, we've seen them all season long and it, it comes to fruition here and just the way they handled this. They're the epitome of a team. They're always willing to credit the other person. Uh, there's no, there's no me, there's no I. It's always about their teammates, the coaches, the ownership, their fans. This is, that's just reflective of who these players are. And, and Mike, I, I want to say a couple things. As a fan of sport, as a fan of sport, to know that these guys had a dream and committed to the work and committed to the craft, every day they're in the gym, this is what they're envisioning. And you listen to him talk, it's better than they ever could have expected. <laughs> and you hear what Tatum said about it was all worth it. You can grow through failure. You think about him in 2022, he didn't have the playmaking chops that was needed to win this NBA Finals. It was his growth through failure that allowed the Boston Celtics to succeed. I have to give a shout out to Brad Stevens because that at the top of the organization trying to put together a team, you stand fast in the face of the criticism about the Jays not being able to play this together. You have to make really hard decisions. Marcus Smart was the culture setter, but to get better and to change your roster, you were willing to part with him. And then the gutsy decisions. Mike, you put a 34-year-old last year in charge of one of the storied franchises in the world. Unbelievable leadership from top to bottom. He was the head coach for eight years, now the president of basketball operations for three years, and Stevens and his staff, including his special consultant, Jeff Van Cuddy, this year, all part of it as the Boston Celtics, from front office to coaching staff, the medical staff, training staff, and the players 
It's the first time in seven years the team with the best regular season record won the title. It's also the sixth different team to win the title in the last six years. And for the Boston Celtics, their first championship in 16 years and number 18. And they win it on their home floor in front of their adoring fans as the MVP Jalen Brown caps off a magnificent playoff run. A special night at the TD Garden in Boston and a special celebration out on Causeway Street. Much more to come as the Celtics win another NBA title.